how do you get the panelists to feel comfortable voicing their opinions in the presence of their peers? So we use what we call level setting exercises so that everybody is on the same playing field. For example, from the very beginning of a panel saying, um, share, share with one another, you know, your favorite um, session so far at the conference. That's level setting. It doesn't matter if you're a new hire or an executive, everybody's on the same plane. Uh, within your small groups, because I always form small groups, even if you're in rows, I get four people in pods mm -hmm. and or if you have tables, that's even better. At your tables, your team leader is going to be the person who uh, woke up earliest this morning or arrived first in this session, those kinds of things. Or, the, the newest to the industry, those types of things are level setting because newest to the industry is not likely to be senior leadership. Uh, and then, you know, shortest hair, it's random. So I'm level setting. It doesn't matter who you are in this room. You all will have an opportunity to share back ideas. So at the very beginning, I'm setting the level by saying, uh, shortest hair at your table is going to be your team leader. Here's the question. The question is, da, 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 da. we want to get answers from you. The panel is going to discuss their answer on your marks, get set, go. Great. Table leaders is that shortest hair person. Go ahead and raise your hand. Share one thing that came up at your table or in your group. They then do that. What happens is everyone now ends up having a voice because the shortest hair person, it, it, it could be anyone. It doesn't really apply to a leadership or not, and you start to get all of these other people sharing within the small group. That's safer than all of a sudden putting a question out to the entire audience and saying, what's your best idea? You're going to get crickets.